Today we're checking out a nice budget option. It's the Game Max Ice. So you might have seen that we've done a review on the Game Max Kamikaze Pro before, um, but this is another one from Game Max. And actually, you know, Game Max cases pretty good value. Um, with most of the time, they actually have a fatal flaw. Like you can see, I'm focusing here that it's got fan mounts on the front. But you should never be putting fans on that. There's just no space for pulling air through. However, they do have the side mount here, which is mesh, so it does make up for it. But Game Max cases do tend to come with a, some kind of Achilles heel, apart from the Kamikaze Pro, which is really getting it just right. Um, so we've seen the accessories in the bag there. So the RGB is controlled with a remote control, button on the case, or even um, motherboard. Um, the back PCIe slot covers I always show you these because um, I know people like to vertically mount GPUs um, and I really like it when they don't put those fixed metal bars in because it means you can actually um, do a vertical mount without having to get the old hacksaw out. Um, so let's take the uh, the opaque panel off um, and it slides off there and we can just see what we're working with there. And of course we've got a nice mesh filter here, we've got a nice geometric pattern. Um, we'll chuck that down in the garbage hole on the left um, and then we will shortly be taking a look at the back of the case. So um, it's got a Game Max RGB hub um, and just like uh, all Game Max um, RGB fans, they tend to have um, three pin control as well, which is nice. You don't have to go at full speed all the time. We've got power supply shroud. We've got um, a couple of plastic hard drive cages, um, which is quite nice. So you don't have to take the whole cage out. Um, and that's the hub there we're looking at. So it actually comes with a couple of RGB strips um, as well. We've got connections to go to your motherboard if you want to control it with motherboard, or you can just leave it um, and control via the button on the case. Um, you can even plug your um, fans into there if your motherboard only has one header, but I like to unplug these and just directly plug them into the motherboard. Um, that's all our front panel stuff. Um, we've got power, power, um, power switch, of course. We've got reset. We've got LED and all that. We've got a couple of USB 3 ports. Um, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say about the cabling on the back here? Not very much. There's just lots of cables, um, but that's okay. I do prefer it when they split the, um, the actual fan signal and the um, RGB signal. Um, I do find it's nicer to get that more granular control. Um, but yes, just a reminder to not use the front fans uh, mounts at all. They should have just really not put any mounts in there whatsoever, in my opinion. And just like always, um, we never do a case build, a case review without a build inside it. So today we're starting with the Ryzen 5 5600X, uh, a classic combo with the 3070, as we shall see. We've got Wraith Prism Cooler, just to give it a bit of extra RGB. Um, I had a few of these hanging around from old 3700X builds. Um, we're using the B450 Gaming Plus Max, which I got for £65, and with a BIOS update, will support this 5600X. Absolutely no problem with great performance, um, which is a really nice way to save money, actually. Um, RAM today is Clev Bolt X. It's 16 gigabytes, and it is DDR4. I think it's 3600 speed. I can't quite read it from here, but um, I think it is. And then we have the Western Digital SN550 one terabyte NVMe, old reliable. Um, and today we're using a white GPU. That is the Zotac Twin Edge White 3070. Uh, the Twin Edge, not the best model, but gets the job done with decent performance. And finally, of course, our power supply, the Corsair 650 watt MW Bronze V2.
So, uh, there we are. Now, ignore that flashing. That's not actually happening. That's just something going on on the camera. It's a solid um, colour in real life, I promise. Nice looking case, actually. Um, we've got our, you know, a couple of RGB fans, the ring fans that are show, showing towards you there, and you've got the one on the back as well, which come included. Um, actually, not a bad looking case for something that only costs you 50 quid pretty decent um it's not premium and it doesn't look very premium either um it's just something about it it just kind of looks a little bit cheaper um but still i think it looks tidy um and for the price it's really good um it's just it doesn't give you that premium feel like you get with other cases i don't think it's just that you can you know really see the wires everywhere on this case there's something about it that makes them really stand out um, and we're just showcasing here some of the RGB effects. So you've got the strips and the ring fans, and they can all sort of marry up together um, to do the same lighting pattern. So uh, we'll probably just roll through a few of those. But functionally, the case is good. Um, temperatures are okay, um, but the fans that come included aren't great. Um, but it's got really good room for fitting all your components in. You can put long graphics cards in here. You can have absolutely no trouble fitting in all the components that you want to into this case. Um, and functionally, it's absolutely fine. Um, I would just say if you're going for the coolest temperatures, you're probably not going to find them. But in terms of looks, um, it's pretty OK. You know, it's completely personal taste. Um, I'll have to leave that one up to you. But I think for 50 quid, this is a really nice case. And the final rating today is going to be six and a half out of ten. Um, because it's just there's just something about it that screams cheap, and I don't know what it is. And maybe it's just that I've been spoilt by high-end cases lately. Um, but I think it just doesn't really tick all those boxes. It's not a neat unit like the Kamikaze Pro from Game Max is a really nice neat unit um, where everything sort of marries up nicely. There's just something about this case that's just a little bit off, and it's very hard for me to put my finger on. Um, but you know, for a cheap white case with some RGB fans, it's a good buy, but it's not um, something I would say you must go out and buy now. Um, so if you like the video, please like it, please subscribe, do all the good stuff that YouTube likes to see, and hopefully see you again next time.